You want to be able to look back at your life when you're 70 years old without regrets. Be able to look back proud and be able to tell that story to your grandkids one day when you went after your passion no matter what people said and you tell them to do the same. My name is Johan Peterson and my job as a senior director in the video games industry truly makes me happy. Why? Because it fulfills my values and I truly care about my work. I have gone through this journey myself though. Working jobs I really, really don't like. Feeling bad all Sunday knowing I have to go to work the next day. Waking up each morning dreading the workday and looking forward to Friday each and every day of the week. I'm so happy though I did something about it and pursued what makes me happy and what I'm passionate about. And I think we're all faced with this dilemma at one point in our lives. According to a recent study by Harris Interactive, 45% of Americans are satisfied or very satisfied with their jobs. Only 20% feel very passionate about their job though. It's mostly younger people who are dissatisfied and distressed. No wonder you're not supposed to know what your passion is before you've tried things. And no, this is completely normal. And whether you are in your 20s, 30s or 40s, with this video, I will give you an approach on how to find your passion and then how you go after it. I can't find your passion for you or recommend something for you. What I can do though, is help guiding you towards finding your passion. Today, we will talk about six things. Number one, your passion is likely in front of your nose. Number two is what to do if you genuinely don't know what your passion is. Number three, try as many things as you can. Number four, how to start. And number five, the importance of patience. And then we'll end with number six, the journey. You are likely gonna work 40 or 50 years of your life. So no matter what people say, never ever settle for something you don't like. People will tell you that you should be happy that you have a job that can pay your bills and you can always do something that you like on the side. Why would you settle for that? Doing something that won't make you happy the majority of your awake time? Before we dig in, please leave a like. Only takes a second, it's free, but helps me tremendously. You don't know if you like pizza, salad or steak when you're born. How can you expect to know your passion? You need to try things just like with food, drinks, or life partners. Spend as much time as you can in your 20s and early 30s to figure out what you really like doing. In most cases, your passion is just in front of your nose. There might just be a subconscious excuse for you not to put in the effort to go after your passion. Excuses being, my mom and dad wouldn't want me to do that, or I wouldn't earn enough money doing that, or that isn't realistic for me. If you know your passion, you need to get your priorities straight. If you really want to be happy at work and go after your passion, your efforts must match your ambition. That means if you need a degree for this particular job, you need to go back to school and get it. And if you're 36 years old now, worried about going to school for four years to go after your passion just because you're going to be 40 when you're done, in four years you're still going to be 40, would you rather have this new degree or stay on this path where you're not happy at work? If you need more experience, start something small on the side and start gaining experience slowly. If it's possible for you, you can also try to find an internship. There are so many options for you if you're just willing to put in the work and be patient. If you get to work with something you're passionate about, it's way more fulfilling than money. And I'm not saying you're not gonna make money working with your passion. If your main job isn't making you enough money, you can always find some side hustles that still align with your passion that you can work with. Try to generate more than one income stream. If you genuinely don't know what your passion is though, I'll give you a few questions to ask yourself. So get yourself a cup of tea, sit down in a comfortable chair and really think about the answers to these questions. What makes you happy? What makes you happy is the best indicator I've found to find a job that you're passionate about. Let's say you're passionate about music and you conclude there is no jobs in music. Then you need to take a step back and look at things from a different angle. You can inject music in multiple careers and there are many companies working with music. Spotify, Shazam, Turtle Beach, Bose. Those are some high profile big companies that work with music. There are so many smaller companies that you can look for. There are thousands of different companies of different sizes that work with music in different ways. The second question I want you to ask yourself is what 
do you care about? Is there a way for you to follow and achieve what you care most about? Some studies point to that going after what you care most about is what will keep you motivated and engaged for the longest. The next question is, did you ever have a hobby that you loved doing? What was it about that hobby that you liked? Any ingredients of it that you could use in a potential career? And again, think about it from different angles. The last question I want you to think about is what do you like reading about or watching videos about? What is it about that topic that you really like? Is there any angle you can approach that from where you can make it into a career? The most important thing though is for you to start trying things. Again, you don't know what kind of food you like when you're born. You don't know what kind of drinks you like. And sometimes things grow on you over time. Coffee being one of those, I guess. Actually, I need to get myself some coffee soon. And sometimes when you try something, you just know. But it's impossible to find out without trying things. A study from Harris Interactive also showed that small firm employees are far more engaged in their work than their corporate counterparts. You need to try things like different company sizes. So how do you start? How do you kick things off? If you already have a job, don't quit just yet. Instead, try to get some exposure on the side. If you need to learn something, take some night classes or try finding someone with a similar job that can give you some insight. As you kick things off, try starting it as a hobby or a side hustle. As you get better, you can even use sites like Upwork or Fiverr to start earning some money on this side job of yours. Patience is key and know that this will be a lot of work for you. The fact that you're working towards your passion will make it way more engaging and motivating for you though. And it will 100% be worth it when you reach your goal and you're passionate about what you do every day. Once I figured out what my passion was and what I wanted to do with my life, it took several years and several jobs for me to build up the experience to get where I wanted to go. Now that I'm passionate about my full-time job, I love being at work. Of course, there are some days that are tough, but I'd rather have that than having tough days every workday. And problems are way easier to navigate when you're passionate about what you do and you're happy at work. And even like we talked about earlier, you're 36 years old now. You want to find your passion, but you think it's too late. Remember that you have at least 30 years left of your career. 30 years. If you're 24, you're not supposed to have everything figured out. That is what your 20s is meant for. Figure things out. Try things. What do I like doing? And it's completely normal to be lost in your 20s. Just be patient and trust the process. My challenge to you is start today. If you can, print a picture that symbolizes your goal. Put it on your fridge or somewhere where you see it every day and it reminds you to work towards your goal. Never ever stop. This is why most people fail. They're not willing to put in the work that it takes to get where they want. So do not stop pursuing your passion no matter what people tell you. Try to surround yourself with people who believe in this journey. Minimize the time with people that don't, even if it's family. Don't let anyone hold you back. Only you know what you're capable of. And if you're committed and willing to put in the effort, you can get where you want. And if you do, it will hands down be the best investment you've ever made. Live your life being one of the 20% that are passionate about their jobs. You want to be able to look back at your life when you're 70 years old without regrets. Be able to look back proud and be able to tell that story to your grandkids one day when you went after your passion no matter what people said and you tell them to do the same. Leave a comment below if you commit to this journey. Simply write what that picture on your fridge will symbolize. Thank you so much for watching this video. I drop videos on a weekly basis, so please check back next week. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon.